this is exclusive behind the scenes. Not allowed to be here, but we, we know somebody that knows somebody. All right, crew, we're here with none other than Mark Cathy. You've already given him two or fifth floor? No, I didn't do a two or fifth floor. All right, let's just show him just a quick peek of that. So, you know what? You say my pleasure every day in the store. We want to embody that. And if you see the hidden heart um, in that space, there. that yeah. is awesome. Customers, what are they saying about us? What are they really communicating with us? Well, we want to just depict that here in the polls. So you get a pulse of what's going on around the country. Thank you for the, the experiences you're creating because we're getting amazing feedback from our customers and pictures day in and day out. All right, let's go see the And naps on the couch. Yes. Naps. Yeah, feet, look at our feet up. Feet up. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is you can write on your locker. restaurant looks like and maybe your feedback coming to Chick-fil-A with your words and your deal that was the idea we just talked about today we're gonna go on the roof see this gate this gate means uh, you're not allowed to go past that. on the roof of Maine. I was hoping there'd be like a lawn chair and a cooler up here. Not yet. I think it's on the other side of it. Your rest station here. Ow! Bitch you. I didn't know this. Bitch you. We were just there. We've got a fun story about Steve Pinley. He's a painter here in the Atlanta area, well known. Painted that painted for my grandfather a 90th birthday gift of him and grandmother and a few different pictures. My grandmother didn't like she didn't like the way her picture looked on, on that, so she decided, hey, I'm going to do something about it. She actually widened it out and started to touch up, you know, how she thought that they should be depicted <laughs> on this tens of thousand dollars worth paint. She never finished it, and so she just covered it up and kept it in the basement. We kind of discovered this after grandfather passed away. One of my cousins and her husband, Brent, said, hey, do you want this painting? And she said, no. She said, just, just get it out of the house, is all she said. So he took it, he went back to Pinley and said, hey, here's what happened. <laughs> Explain the story. And he said, you know what? I will touch it back up and repaint it uh, for you. And he said, under one condition, he said that you put it behind glass and the lock and key so that she can't get to it again. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely it would be done. I have no idea, <laughs> but I could find out for you. <laughs>